This is the energy vibration reading for the month of April 2018. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Welcome all subscribers. Please like and share and I hope you will return. This is the month of April. The month of April um, carries the energy of uh, um the energy of movement um it's a fire energy it's a month of fire in the um first week we have the energy of movement in the second week we have inner strength in the third week we have a water energy and emotional energy and in the fourth week we have the wheel of fortune okay you um, um, Aquarians have the energy and the, all the support of the magician this is good because the energy of the magician is the energy of an air energy and the energy of the magician is that the magician is here for you Aquarians to give you help in all aspect of the four energies that you need for element which is passion um, 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 your materialistic needs, uh, your thought pattern, information, communication, and that sort of a thing. So the magician is here supporting you in this month of April. So let's go forward and look forward because there is no really um, supporting energies for you, um, hair sign people in this month. In the month of April, there is like. Um, no set as supporting energies but we're going to look and see what is going to come out for you guys this month of April has four weeks there is um, a lot of retrograde we're in the retrogrades now so and the full moon is going to help you to release certain aspect of yourself let's see what is coming out in the first week for you guys you have the ace of swords which is going to be a wonderful week for you um, Aquarians in the first week because you have the energy of the ace of swords so your communication in the first week is going to be good if you have a situation you are going to be using um, your, the intellect and, and 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 communicate in a good way in the first week and this is going to be good in the second week you have an energy that you're connecting with uh, people from your past soulmate soulmate could be people um, ex boyfriends or, or people who you had um, situation with in the past uh, uh, family situation or friendship or that sort of a thing but it's a soul way uh, soulmate week that mean is a soul connection week that people um, from your past life and past situation will be coming back in your life as we look at the third week we have the energies of the lovers so this is wonderful so as I said before um, um, maybe an ex-lover ex-partner is coming back in your life okay um, they want to come back and connect with you so um, in the third week expect this to happen in the fourth week you have the wheel of fortune which this is saying that it is a karmatic situation that these um, ex-lovers ex-partners friends and family are coming back because you have uh, used um, your communication your intellectual ability um, to resolve whatever the solution is and these people are going to be coming back but it's more of lovers that is coming back and this is a um, karmatic situation these are situation that um, it is people that you have known in lifetime and lifetime you have come in this lifetime to clear karmas with them so your month is actually looking good I was um, a bit worried about your month but as I look at your month it is really looking good as we are going to see what is the connection between the first and second week the connection is that you're seeing the truth of the situation and a lot of that is going to be coming out in this month that people start to see the truth of situations and this is the energy that is going to be helping you Aquarians because what you're going to be understanding and you're going to be looking and you're going to be realizing situation that has, um, uh, has, has uh, happened in your life because you use the intellect or the communication and communicating very clearly that these situation are um, um, resolving as we look at the second week to the third week the connection is that you're going to have a situation that has to deal with um, 
uh, it could be that some people are getting divorced okay or marriage it can be divorce or marriage or um, there are situations in organization groups of other people that you have to deal with certain situation that has transpired so the connection between the second week and the third week you're going to be having a situation with an organization and it could be the end of, um, a divorce is finally ended or some of you are going to be getting married okay as we look at the third week going in the fourth week we have the energy of uh, um, this night in the reverse form that means um, whatever the situation is between you and a lover it has now ended so this was really a divorce that came in if you had a situation with someone who was um, 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 between the ages of 25 and 40 this night or 25 and 45 it is now over it is now over this person has no influx um, in your life anymore okay it is now over it was an ex-lover that um, it was an ex-lover and this could be someone who came in from a karmatic situation um, it's a divorce for some people divorce will be finalized for some people um, if you had conflicts with this person um, it is now over because it was a karmatic situation that came in as we look at the situation what you're seeing clearly about organization obviously it's all about the lovers for you guys in this week, in this month it is all about the lovers it is all about you finding yourself it is all about connection with other people it is all about the lovers so you know i have to really see what these readings is all about it's all about the ending of relationship and you seeing the truth about um, a, a relationship that you have had or someone that you were seeing or um, someone who came back in your life because this is a karmatic situation with an intimate partner it can be for some people someone who is in an intimate relationship and it can be for some people who are in business or you work with these people and there is a secrecy there's a lot of secrecy and hidden enemies that you guys have so be careful these hidden enemies is in an organization and um, the organization is with someone who is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian okay their secret enemy this person is a secret enemy so you have to be very much careful very careful of an organization um, that you're dealing with it, and it can be at your work because this is what I'm I'm seeing is the center of your reading it can be at your work let's see what is the outcomes before I go deeper in this reading the outcomes is that you're not really protecting yourself because the seven of ones is in reverse you need to protect yourself in this month you really really need to protect yourself in this month because here is a seven of ones in the reverse form you are not protecting yourself from whatever that is happening and you need to protect yourself more because the seven of ones is in reverse so as I look at your month the center of your month is that a lot of you are going to be dealing with groups of people and organization and um, these group of people it can be the people on who you're working with in the organization that you're working with or it can be another situation but it has to do with people in organization for people who are having a relationship at work it's not going to work or do not begin it for some of you you're going to have situations that you have had relationships with people at your work and this is going to affect you you need not to do this because it's going to have a huge effect on you whoever you are um, because a lot of you people are having situations with past life soul connection people are coming back I'm seeing the six of cups and the lovers together that is saying that someone a past at X is coming back in your life and this is a karmatic situation okay an X is coming back in your life and it's a karmatic situation whatever is happening you guys have a situation with um, with uh, you know 
relationship and you're going to see the truth of a situation with someone that you have been dealing with and you're going to see that you have trusted this person but this person was never supposed to be trusted in the beginning okay there is a situation with someone and it could be a fire sign person and you have trusted this person but you should not have trust this person in the beginning and it is saying to you now be aware and be careful of what is happening because you have trusted someone and open up yourself um, to someone that you shouldn't have done then we're seeing that you you know you need to trust yourself you need to protect yourself from situations and people because it is as if you are having a relationship with someone and it could be at your work for some people and it could be your partner that is not being honest about things or is someone that you're seeing that is not being honest about things this person can be a cancer a scorpion or a Pisces that is not being honest about a situation that is happening so look in your life and see is it my partner is this person a cancer scorpion a Pisces cancer or a scorpion because this person um, you, you left yourself open to this person but this person is not being very honest okay this person is like an a hidden enemy this person is not being honest in situations and this person have a connection with someone who is in uh, an Aries a Leo or a Sagittarius between the ages of 25 and 45 so you have to be very very careful because you have let this person in your life and um, it is a karmatic situation that you're dealing with a Pisces a cancer or a Scorpio or um, an Aries Leo these two people are working together and it's a karmatic situation that you have had one of them um, one of these persons are in love with you and um, is trying to resolve a situation but um, he is working together with this other person so you have to be very very much careful because it's a karmatic situation then we have the energy of um, the lovers so an ex lover is coming back in your life an ex lover is coming back in your life this could be a situation that um, you have ended a relationship with this person and this person is going to be coming back in your life so you have to be aware of um, what is happening here okay we are going to look at the love situation what is happening um, for the people over the ages of 40 the ladies over the ages of 40 what is happening for um, your career first your career um, for the ladies over 40 it's going to be a positive there is going to be a, a promotion um, there is going to be um, a sense of maybe increase of salary but it's like it's kind of um, but maybe a promotion is coming in maybe you're moving forward maybe you're um, receiving accolades and that sort of a thing so um, for um, the women over 40 in work it's is going to be good as we look at the men over 40 in work you have a new start for the men over 40 um, with work there is a new start that is coming in for you for the people 18 and older 18 until 30 um, the energy is that good news is going to be coming in for you guys so ladies and gentlemen or young adults um, uh, 18 to 30 um, um, there is good news on the way so maybe it's the ed end of the exam or you did an exam there is good news on the way for you guys okay let's look at what love is saying for the ladies over 40 what is love love for the Aquarians ladies over 40 I, I got this um, message also in the general reading so it have an effect on you guys so um, news maybe from an ex-lover um, for the ladies over 40 news from an ex-partner is coming to you um, it is up to you as you will go further in this relationship or you will accept it or you will not accept it then as we look at lovers for um, the men over 40 for the Aquarians 
um, the men over 40 um, you Aquarians you're going to be connecting with um, in love with someone who is a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion so the men over 40 is going to be connecting with someone who is a, um, a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion as we look at the energy for the um, people 18 years and uh, between the ages of 18 and 30 in love um, some of you are going to be um, connecting and this could be the energy of your father if there is a situation that your father is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn you are going to be resolving whatever situation that has transpired um, and resolving it okay some of you ladies will be connecting um, or some of you will be connecting in relationship with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn okay let's and uh, these are all karmatic situation because it's as if ex lovers or people from a past life is coming back so it's all about ex lovers coming back this a month for you guys is all about ex lovers coming back in your life <laughs> okay I, you know um, you know everyone um, I need to um, deal with their situations but I don't know I I, I don't do the ex lovers I am it's out it's out that's it we are going on to the zodiac energies and for the zodiac energy for the Sun sign people remember those are the people who were born between the hours of 12 a.m. and 6 p.m. in the evening and we are going to look and see um, what is going to be transpiring in your life and what zodiac energies are going to be here and I need to put on my glasses because I can't see these um, cards um we have the Pisces coming in as I have said the Pisces are coming in so for the Sun people the Pisces are going to be coming in you're going to be connecting again with the Pisces people um, maybe this is someone from um, your past um, that is coming back and you're going to be connecting with um, the Pisces and let's see what else is going to be um, happening and Pluto so for some of you if you're connected with the Pisces Pluto is going to be coming in and either removing this person or replacing this person we're going to look at um, the lunar sign people which is the people who were born between the hours of um, the people who were born between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 and um, 12 a.m. and let's look and see what we have for you guys you're going to be dealing with mercury mercury is going to be working with the magician because that's the energy of the month mercury and the magician because mercury um, work together with the magician so mercury is going to be here and it is going to be helping you to bring magic in your life and you're going to be dealing with the scorpions and this is true because the energy of the moon comes out with the scorpion so I did say that you have a situation to deal with someone who is a cancer a cancer a Pisces or a Capricorn and it is a cancer person that you're in a relationship with they are going to be removed out of your life this relationship is not healthy and um, this person is not uh, is not honest or was never honest to you okay so there we are and we are going to see what is happening with your financial situation oh success funding is coming in for you Aquarius so if you are looking for um, money money um, funding is coming in for you um, Aquarians so it's going to be a, a, a good month in um, financial funding money is going to be coming in and it says um, your divine should keep it up here it says uh, um, your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinity wisdom of God or the source of all things give your ideas do not allow money concern to prevent you from turning it into reality crowdfunding partnerships and other investments are available to help you okay and then we have the last energy and this is a wonderful energy I so love these cards from the infinity universe for the month of April it says I create mindful moments in my life and remind I am love and miracles are naturally 
happening and isn't this beautiful so this is the message for you guys in the month of April so I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here please like share these video and remember to go listen to your Sun moon and rising sign I am wishing you guys a wonderful powerful powerful month of positive energies and remember that X will be coming back in your life be careful who you guys are with cancers namaste